Hey guys, so, um, update, um, uh, my rate has been going down, but I, 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 everything I've been doing should be making it go up. Okay, maybe not. I've been eating lots though, the last, maybe not. I don't know, I'm trying, believe it or not, I'm trying not to lose weight. Not because I want to get better, of course, because I really want to lose weight, trust me. But I'm trying not to lose weight so that I can stay out of hospital and then make myself unsectionable so that I can stop being weighed, because obviously at the moment I still have to be weighed and I want to be able to go, no, I refuse to be weighed without them going, okay, we'll put you in hospital. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make it so that my potassium is stable and I look like a man and um and different things like that um and my weight is up enough and stuff um so that I can last until I go into school in September so So, um, yeah, and I'm trying, but my eating disorder has got its, its firm hold on me, and, uh, why am I talking like that? And so, sort of accidentally lose weight. I don't mean to. Just am. I'm so trying to get my potassium up, but I've realised now that purging is just like a reflex for me. Get it? Reflex, huh? It's like just instant and natural and I don't seem to be able to stop it. Oh, can I stop it? No, I can't. When my mum leaves, I can't. When my mum leaves. Um, when she doesn't leave, I just overeat in the house in front of her. Oh well, but somehow I'm still losing weight, so obviously I must be doing something, but despite the fact that normally I say this and I'm lying, I don't know why. So, la la la. Um, oh, how could a collarbone get fatter? Sorry. Um, so, yeah, my BMI is back to about 16, I think, so not loads lower, because I was 17 when I came back, but still the highest I've ever been, so yay! But, um... No, though, no, I think on holiday was the highest I've ever been. <sighs> Either way, there you go. Yeah, I know! So, yeah. That's the weight side of things. <laughs> I get it. The weight side of things, eh, 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 eh? I'm in an odd mood. I feel blue. I do. Uh, I went to this place called Whitestones Cafe with my mum earlier because it's like it special and I paid and we had a piece of carrot cake each and it was like <laughs> and we had a cup of this latte stuff I had caramel she had toffee don't see why we did that and it was like <laughs> cup um yeah <laughs> cup yeah okay and then they gave us these four free truffles which normally 50p each but it was my mum's birthday so yay and that was uh that was fun so yeah eating a lot and then when she left i had a pack of biscuits and purged well not the entire packet but you know um and i've had two pieces of toast and tuna all kept in and I've had two of these weird fish and butter sauce that are 111 calories each that I kept in. <sighs> and all the stuff in the cafe I kept kept in. So I've, I've had I've had a lot. I didn't go to sleep last night. I was reading. I'll show you my chart. Do you want to see my chart? 
This ear is my chart. You see, it has, did I get up before 12 p.m. today? I don't really have a problem with getting up before 12 p.m., but it's like, you know, an aim to get up in the morning. I don't know, because otherwise I go to sleep at like six and wake up really late. I mean, yeah. Um, did I go to bed before 2 a.m. last night? Um, I stuck to the food plan today, and the food plan is actually quite a diddy little food plan, but either way. Uh, I did not self-harm today. I went out somewhere other than Tesco's today. I had at least three cups of pure water today. I kept my room tidy today. I washed my face today. So let's see. The top one, get up before 12pm. Easy. I've done every day. I've got up at the latest 9pm. Second one down. I went to bed before 2am last night. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing so well on that one. I stuck to the food plan today. See, it's interesting how it went. See, look, it, 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 this was a this was yeah. I wasn't getting much sleep for a while, but because it was the first few days of my food plan, first few days are always quite successful. And then I go wrong on my food plan, and bam, sleeping goes wrong. Go wrong, go wrong, go wrong, go wrong, go wrong, go wrong, go right. Still go wrong. Go wrong. Didn't go to bed at all last night. Didn't go to bed at all last night, which is what that writing is. But my food plan... Okay, I put a tick because it was about the same amount of calories I was really eating, but it doesn't matter. Um, normally I tick it only when I do well, but... I don't want my mum to suddenly see this big row of black coming up in the food plan bit, because that means pinching. So, yeah. <laughs> Obviously I have to get her bitch for it. You see, you see this nice big long row of ticks here? That's self-harm, that is. Yeah. Um, I went out so somewhere other than Tesco's today. Pretty, pretty good, huh? Oh, when I coloured them in, it means I didn't... What? It means I didn't get them. Um, I had at least three cups of pure water today. I've mashed that almost every day except for one. But then, okay, quite a bit of it comes back up. But anyway, um, I kept my room tidy today. Da -da 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 -da. And I washed my face today. I don't have a problem wash w with washing my face. I just put it on there because, you know, it's a good aim. So, yeah. That's all interesting stuff, isn't it? I look massive. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, I'm sure you are really interested in that. You see, the, the columns going downwards are the days. See, it starts off on Wednesday the... Wednesday the 18th. I'm not sure quite what happened there. And there's today, Monday the 6th. Okay, yeah. Oh, let me see. How many days in a row have I managed with all of the ticks? Usually about three days at most with all ticks. Whoops. Normally it's the going to bed before 2am thing that catches me out because I just am not hardwired to go actually go to sleep like a normal person. So, yeah. Meow! I feel blue. I feel lonely. Um, I spoke to my very old, not because she's elderly, but just I knew her a long time ago friend, Laura, who has been, just been j discharged from hospital within just about the last few years, really in hospital. She's been discharged into supported lodgings, but she's still checked up on and things and some sort of contract or something, I don't know, it's her thing. I hadn't spoken to her in a long time. Laura. She's looking all glamorous and pretty and lovely now. I'm not. But I feel I feel very, very, very terrible in regards to Laura because basically Oh, when we were Yeah. You know what, I can have the exact date that it happened. Bookity book book! Okay. Because on the 5th of May 2009, I basically was the reason for her getting into self-harm. And it started off as little nicks. And while she was in hospital, it got worse and worse and worse. 
Mm, by the way, she wasn't in hospital before she met me too. Yay. But she found out that I did it and then she started and then it started off so small I thought she'd never get that bad with it and uh, guess what? She did and it's all my fault! Yay. And she said to me she would have started anyway but the point is even if she had started anyway it wouldn't have been my fault. There is this is because of me. I made someone cut apart their own human flesh. Yay. Just one of the hundreds of reasons why Rachel should why everyone should hate Rachel. Yay! But it's okay because everyone does. Anyway, yay! Meow. Okay. Oh. Oh, beautiful Laura. Yeah. Um, cause that, I feel like I'm part of the reason why she's in hospital, which is silly. The whole world doesn't revolve around me. However, I do just feel like I'm, um, you know, scum. Anyway, meow. Just, you know, all because of me. And I thought I was helping. Oops. Yeah, I spoke to her again. <laughs> yeah, you pee. She was also once, oh right, I'm really using this like an online vlog now, she was also once Can't I say it? I can't say it What is wrong with me? Can't <laughs> It's a good question, but at the same time, it's a really obvious question. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Little bird. Charlie. Baby. Yeah, I'm just going into my own loopy little world now, so better leave you guys to it. And yeah, as I said, I'm feeling blue. And no one's contacting me and I spoke to Laura but like been trying to contact a person from the house who we were going to meet up ages ago and then we didn't meet up and I'm trying to Skype her and I'm trying to text her and she's not answering and I tried to call her and she's not answering and Yeah. It's okay. I'm worse to other people. I basically just ignore people. There's at least two, three people on Facebook that have been trying to contact me and I've just, I read their messages and I think of things that I want to tell them and then I just move swiftly on. I don't like talking to people when I'm well, but, so yeah. I'm such a horrible person. I haven't done a single flipping good video recently on my unique arcade all you channel. I should. You guys haven't done anything wrong. It's not like I don't have loads and loads and loads of time on my hands. I just spent reading and reading and reading. Yeah, books aren't all that nice. Not that exciting. They aren't quite the same as real friends. I can't think why. Knock knock. Amos. Amos Quito. To me that's the worst joke in the history of the world. Oh 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 okay there's there's two muffins right in an oven. And one muffin says to the other uh, other muffin, what do you think we have in common? And the other muffin said, 
Oh my god, look, a talking muffin. Get it. Yeah, I, I'm good at really terrible jokes. Or I'm really bad at good jokes. Or I'm just bad at bad jokes. You only talk when I... You only talk when... You're silent when I'm not talking. You only talk when... I said, you only talk when I'm not... when I'm talking. You never talk when I'm not talking. You're always just like, I'm silent now. And then when I'm talking, you're like, tweet, 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 chirp, chirp, chirp. See, now you're quiet again. See? He's just a little nightmare, isn't he? Isn't he cute, though? I thought I'd put him in the window today. Look at the little birdie. I would take him out with the doors open and... Yeah, I don't want to. I just put him back. He's so gorgeous. Charlie. Who are you talking to? He's like, well, there's no one else in the bloody room. So myself. I get it. I'm not really here. Ah! Yeah. Hey. How you doing? What is my life? <laughs> Self pity. I feel blue. I'm so lonely. Everybody my age thinks I'm a freak and I don't even go to school yet to find out. But it's okay because when I did go to school I knew that I was a freak because everyone made sure that I knew. But then even when I walk down the streets I know I'm a freak. Yay! Those stupid effing 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 neighbours that know things and stupid effing effing neighbours. My mum's told the whole universe I have anorexia. So now people will be looking at me and thinking, she's too fat to have anorexia. Yay! Just make sure everybody knows. Yeah. So now I can't leave the house. Yay! So all the people older than me all think I have anorexia and I'm scared of them looking at me and thinking of me as fat and greedy. Or watching what I'm buying from Tesco's. Or just watching what I'm generally doing. And I, I used to just try and think, they don't care about me. But the fact that my mum just goes on and on about it, and anorexia, you know, it's unusual, so people are interested. You know, if you find out someone's anorexic, and you bump into them on the street, you sort of judge them, don't you? You just go, oh, she's not skinny. <laughs> oh, she's got bread in her bag. <laughs> you know, ha ha ha.